What is CSS Grid? In cascading style sheets, CSS Grid Layout or CSS Grid creates complex responsive web design grid layouts more easily and consistently across process. CSS Grid Layout is a two-dimensional grid-based layout system that, compared to any web layout system of the past, completely changed the way we design user interfaces. So in this video, we are going to develop a very simple web application with responsive design using CSS Grid. OK, let's get started. So on Visual Studio, let's click File, New, Project. OK, let's search ASP.NET. Let's go down. ASP.NET Web Application, click Next. So for the project name, let's call simple just call My Web. Okay. So just location keep it the same. .NET Framework 4.8 keep it this create. So we are going to create empty web application. Uncheck HTTPS create. You can keep the HTTPS if you want. Now the project is created. Okay, let's close this page. Since it's the empty uh, ASP web application, we need to add two files. One is HTML, another one is a stylesheet file. Right click, add HTML page. Okay, add. HTML page, okay. So let's put in the file name index. Click OK. So now the index.html file is created. Right click, add, style sheet. Here we put the name anywhere name you like, style, maybe simple. Okay. So now we have the index.html and the style.css file, CSS file created. Now we need link the CSS file to the HTML. So let's go to the HTML. Let's put the title first, file finder and organizer, and then link. So this sentence basically link the style.css CSS to the HTML file. Okay. Now right click the index file, set as start page. Okay. And I click to test. Okay, now it's showing a empty page, right? And but the title is file finder and organizer. Okay, file finder and organizer. Okay, that's what we expected. It's empty page. Now let's add something. Let's go back to HTML. Before that, we need to add those uh, page uh, images. Add existing item. Let's pick up four of them. Add. Yeah, basically there are three PNG images and one icon. Okay, so in the HTML, let's add four divs. So the first div is the container, and inside there are three divs. Okay, now let's go to the CSS, define the, the body style. So the background image we defined, and uh, the color is white. The font color is white and the font family. Okay, let's test it. Click. Okay, now you can see the background image, right? And then we see the icon, we see the two lines of the texts. Text. Okay, this is the title, but we want the title show different way, not that way. So here, let's do some change. Come on the previous one, okay? And you can see we basically just add class to the previous divs. So we have the container title, a title logo, and title app text, and a title text, and the logo class. So we have those classes. Now we need to go to CSS to put the style for those classes. And we can see we have the 
container title, class, and display as a grid, and then the grid template columns, right? And then we have the title logo, title up text, and the title text. Those class style defined here already. Now we want to put them together on the same page, easy to understand. On the top is the HTML content, and underneath is the CSS content. Okay. So from this HTML, we can see the the div is container title, the title container div, and we have the container title class style in the CSS, and we can see display as grid, and the grid template columns repeat 6, 1, FR. FR stands for fraction. So basically, the split content space into six equal columns. So here it says 6, 1, FR, repeat, right? So each one is one fraction. So equal six columns. Okay. And you can see we have the title title logo. The title logo uh, class and in the CSS, we have the style defined for the title logo, right? You can see the grid columns, one, two, the, which means start column is one, end column is two, excluded. So which means just one column, number one column, okay? And the row, start row is one, end row is five, excluded. So the row is one, two, three, four. So look at the diagram, the yellow area, you can see the column one and then row is one, two, three, four. So the title logo will stay in that yellow area. So let's look at the title app text. The title app text is already defined in the HTML and we have the style here. So start row, start row is the uh, column is two and the seven. So it's two, three, four, five, six. Okay. The same as the title text, the same. So both are across column two, three, four, five, six. Okay, two, three. This is a title up text. This is a title text. The only difference is the different row. Like you can see, this is title up text. So start row is two, end row is three, excluded. So the row is two, which means the second row. Okay. But the title text, the start row is three, end row is four, excluded. So the row is basically third, the third row. So you can see here, right? Title up text and the title text. Okay, let's see the result. Click to refresh. Okay, here we go. So now you can see that's what we expect, the title. Okay, but we want to move the title in the middle. How can we do that? Let's go back to the text, the, the HTML file. Okay, now here, okay, let's get rid of this comment out, okay? And we just need to put one more diff. So that diff we call top container and we put the title container inside the top container, which means the title container is one item of the top container and put the title uh, class name called title. So in the CSS, we need to define the style. So top container is displayed as grid, okay? And the grid template column is repeat 21 FR, which means 20 equal columns, okay? And for the title class, the title container, Okay, the, the grid column start from 2 and 20, excluded. So it's 2 to 19 columns. Save. Okay, let's see. Click to refresh. Bingo. So we, it now it's in the middle. Okay, good. So we can continue to add more. Say I want to add one called functions text. So just put one div here and with the class name called function text. So we need to put the style for that function text class. So that's here, function text, okay? So the grid column, we define starting from six 
and ending 16 excluded. So it's 6 to 15, basically. Fresh. Now you can see the function text, right, is in the middle. Okay. Let's continue to add function class. One function class. Go to HTML. We put two diffs here. So the, the first one is the icon. Second one is the text. So we expect the, the icon is on the left side and the text on the right side. So they're both on the same row. So here we need to define the style for those two. Uh, but in addition, we have the here we have the the cloud icon, define the width, height, 22 p picture, and we need to flip horizontal for that one. Okay. So for the icon, icon one, we define the grid column start from four. Ending, uh, ending on 17, uh, 7. So basically it's 4, 5, 6, right? And the row is start uh, 3 and 4. So basically it's the third. The same, the, for the text one, column start from 7, ending 18, excluded. So it's 7 to 17, but the row is the same, the third row. Let's save it. Fresh, click. Now you can see the left side is the column, is the icon, and the right side is the text. Okay, they're on the same row. So we can put more item the same way. We don't want need to show to the details, right? Because that's the same way. So we just need to put more items and um, give them different class name, and then, then we can freely style for those classes in the CSS file. Now here. And uh, we add one more like a diff. It's totally up to you if you want to try. Like here, we put the class uh, the style for the classes here. Okay, let's save it. Let's refresh. Click. Bingo. So now we can see that the whole stuff here. Okay, everything's here. That's the same way. Like right. Now let's do a quick test. We just change the width of the page. Let's adjust a little bit. You can see on the bottom, we can move a little bit longer. Okay, now let's move it. So you can see the text is adjust automatically based on the page size, right? Okay. But there's a problem with the screenshot image. You can see it doesn't change the size. So we need to fix it. How can we fix it? Then we need to go to HTML, find the screenshot item, and then let's put a class called whatever name, say screenshot, right? And then in the CSS, we need to define the style for that class. CSS. Let's put the style here for the screenshot. Put uh, image dot screenshot, yeah. So maximum width is 100%. Save it, test it, refresh. Okay, now you can see the screenshot image is automatically adjust based on the, the, the screen width, right? Okay, narrow down. Yes, good. Okay, so here is the responsive design. It's a responsive page. Okay. Extend, yeah, enlarge say the width is bigger, right? Okay, so that's pretty much everything for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.